One of the most difficult things for students in chemistry and physical science to deal with are some of the mathematical relationships that we have, uh, very simple very often. We understand them, but they don't. One of those relationships I have put on the board over here, and I'd like to just talk about it very simply. Uh, we all know the formula for speed of light, uh, C equals lambda nu, or lambda times nu where the lambda is the wavelength of the light and the nu is frequency. We know that light travels at a fixed velocity. Regardless of the color, they all travel at the same speed. The thing that varies are, in fact, their wavelength and their frequency. I have up here a device with uh, transparency, and I have on it three different wavelengths. We have a long wavelength, an intermediate, and a short wavelength. Now, we understand that in fact the short wavelength is going to be the blue light, the intermediate would be somewhere in the green range, and the long wavelength would be red. And we know that they travel at the same velocity. Students will very often look at this and see the different wavelengths, and they will in fact misinterpret this because of the fixation on one dimension, that being the length, and ignoring the frequency. Or they will fix on the frequency and ignore the wavelength. They have difficulty uh, putting together the mathematical concept. A very simple device is called the wavelength generator, and it goes back to uh, the 30s and the 40s where there used to be little animation booklets where students and, and uh, children would uh, be able to flip through and see animation. And what we've done here is we have created an animation to show the connection and the relationship between the frequency and we're able to see that in fact the colors do travel at the same time and that what appears here, and I'll repeat that, you will be able to see that in fact we have the blue light traveling at exactly the same velocity or speed as the red light is, even though the wavelengths and the frequencies vary. We have a very simple relationship, very simply demonstrated. And my experience has been that students, once they see this simple demonstration, they are able to internalize this and able to make that connection and retain it for their experience in the chemistry classroom.